Good evening, I'm Ron Reagan and this is Tyler Kelly and we are coming to you with Twilight Talks. And we are in the book of Jude, verses 9 through 11. Tyler, if you don't mind reading those. Yeah, Michael the archangel in contending with the devil, which he, when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. But these speak evil of whatever they do not know, and whatever they know naturally like brute beasts, and these things they corrupt themselves. Woe to them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, have run greedily in the air of Balaam for profit, and perished in the rebellion of Korah. All right. So we saw those three categories back on Friday. Those that defile the flesh, that reject authority, and speak evil of dignitaries. And we have an instance where we are shown about this whole speaking evil thing. And uh, Michael and Satan are contending over Moses' body when Moses died. Uh, Tyler, do you remember what the scripture tells us about Moses' burial location? Uh, that when he dies up on the mountain, God takes him away and, and nobody knows where he was buried. Nobody knows. And they said, well, how did how'd that happen? Well, apparently Michael was given burial detail. Uh, very quick side note about angels. The Holy Spirit functions with your spirit and, and in your spirit and functions in the heavenly realm in you, through you, etc. In the physical realm God has given his angels authority in the physical realm on behalf of believers. Hebrews 1.14 So when you see angels doing stuff in the physical realm now because they work for God what all glory goes to God. But don't lose sight that if you're saying, you know, uh, if you're asking the Holy Spirit to do something uh, about your car driving, well, no, that's not where the Holy Spirit functions. Um, you know, that bumper sticker, never drive faster than your angels can fly. Um, I get the sentiment. Uh, I'm sure the angels are happy that they think you're, that you think your car can outrun them. Um, but that's where angels function. And this is one of those points. Moses' burial detail was done by Michael. Satan wanted the body. Because if Satan could have had the body and built a shrine in Sinai, in Arabia, um, what would have happened to the children of Israel, you think, Tyler? They would have done like they did with the golden calf and with the um, rod with the bronze stake on it, and they would have worshipped that instead of worshipping God again. Yeah. And so, why did the devil want Moses' body? Because, man, that was a that was an easy way to basically turn the entire nation away from God. They would have gone to, yeah. And so Michael has that detail. And in the fight with Satan, in the disagreement with Satan, he uh, does not revile or speak evil towards Satan. You say well, how come, brother? Because it's not his place. You know, when you and I speak evil of the president, and then I, I, I'm not even going to pretend that I've liked many of our presidents in my lifetime. Um, when we speak evil of the president, we speak evil of our constitution, we speak evil of our nation, we speak evil of God. Is not the president also made in the image of God, yet we speak evil of him? Who gave Satan existence but God? Before Satan rebelled, who gave Satan such a high position in heaven? God. You say, well, Michael's the big dog now. Surely he can speak evil of him. Hey. A careful study of history shows that when two generals who used to serve together that one of them goes one direction and one of them goes the other direction, oftentimes in a civil war. And this has happened in multiple nations and in, in times and places throughout human history. When they meet back up on the field of battle, they still show respect to the position that each one of them used to occupy together at a time when they were on the same side. Because the final factor is the one who originally gave them the authority. Paul addresses this in the book of Romans when he says, 
who are you or I to criticize another man's servant? And since we're all the Lord's servant, we all need to watch our mouths. Speaking evil. Speaking evil. Not even Michael the Archangel speaking about the angel of rebellion. But said, Jehovah rebuke you. You have some other thoughts on this one, my brother? No, sir. All right. Lord willing, we'll pick up verses 10 and 11 um, tomorrow night. Till then.